A boy monk is snoring in the attic. Open my eyes. I silently climb down the ladder into the main temple and out the door. Zillions of stars, clear night. Mm -hmm. I gaze down at the flatlands of India. Mm. I can see the horizon of the earth. And for the first time in my life, I see stars below my feet. High Himalayas. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> the next evening during meditation, my spirit straight back to the Nirvana meadow goddess scene. <laughs> yeah. Once again, I'm wearing my planet on my necklace <laughs> in my colossal light body. Mm -hmm. Ruthie wears her two planets on her rings of fingers. Yeah, her two planets as rings on her fingers of her universal body. We are very, still very hot for one another sexually and uh, <laughs> uh, but human love making uh -huh. impossible no densities to our bodies so the goddess turns me on to a new trick a new a new cosmic maneuver well, maybe impart to humanity later uh, she strips off her clothes and jewelry I strip off my home planet around my neck and we put our home planets the jewelry in a little sufi box with opalescent seashells and islamic patterns all crisscrossed all over in the finest of detail uh -huh. mm -hmm. so goddess uh, uh earthy teaches me how to transform myself into a sphere of light by using my imagination, the power of visualization, floating above the sparkling meadow. And she does the same. Mm -hmm. mm. And she guides me into slowly merging our spheres of light together into one sphere. Mm. Wow, this divine wholeness, interplanetary bliss, profound, integrated intimacy. <sighs> Worlds beyond mere human sexual union. Mm -hmm. We're more than adding our life experiences together. Oh, yes, the gods and I are multiplying our life energies in an accelerating progression by the power of our two spirits squared. Light mathematically squared. Wow, a tantric union. More than two heads are better than one. Rather, we become one being. Mm-hmm with yin-yang aspects. Mm -hmm. Memories merge too. Going back to our current birth in our current forms. Shiva Shakti fused. Wow. As commonly depicted in Hindu paintings, we become a fused super creature of perfectly interpolated awareness and experience. Wow, Shiva, Shakti, sexy, juicy, man, oh man, what fun, and how powerful. What intrigues me now is that none of the jewelry, our clothes, the setting, uh, look Asian. 
uh, no sign of Tibetan or any kind of Tibetan Buddhist vibrations at all. Uh, rather, our light bodies are attired in interdimensional cosmic garments. Mm -hmm. I feel mildly guilty about this. I mean, after all, I'm in a Tibetan monastery, you know, eating their food, <laughs> getting their instructions, but hmm, mm -hmm. our goddess human love affair is amorous, serendipitous, mischievous, uh, sexy fun, the, the polar opposite of serious institutionalized religion. Well, after this experience, <laughs> Back in the attic. That monkey snoring again. Gotta take a pee. Climb down the ladder. See the stars below my feet. Yeah, um, I notice a dynamic in my series of meditations, my episodes in meditation. Uh, it's that if I do not bring back to earth the wisdom gleaned from the experience in the cosmic realms, the next episode will repeat itself for several evenings. Mm -hmm. And the celestial scenery and won't change. There might be a slight variation with the goddess, but essentially I will repeat the previous meditation Accordingly, our spheres of white light, erotic interpenetration occurs, repeats for several evenings, until my earth body feels and literally cellularly incorporates and absorbs the evolutionary wisdom and I have to apply it practically to my everyday life on Earth or the next appropriate act in the cosmic narrative will not occur. Okay, so my human body gains wisdom. Mm -hmm. My incarnation, insights from the meditation. This is like a key point. My mind, my poor mind, <laughs> my ego-slaved mind, might not be able to understand at all what's going on. <laughs> Way out of its depth. But if my spirit feels the experience, then the next scene occurs. Well, uh, you know, the goddess and I have been enjoying the Kama Sutra, spheres of light, interpenetration, cosmic intercourse, cosmic union, for several evenings in a row. Until, what? Two enlightened horses in colossal light bodies also appear in the Nirvanic meadow. Their eyes... Inner glowing diamonds sparking. We have a telepathic understanding with the animals. What's that, Earthy? Explain to the Earth people a little more how this cosmic telepathy operates. Put it in simple English for them. Okay, all right, oh, all right. A comment <clears throat> about this telepathy stuff. Mm -hmm. The dy dynamic of it works like this. I suppose that on the two home planets of the goddess, there are no <laughs> human beings, you know, that look like big monkeys, anthropomorphic form to human beings. No, they don't have them over there. And likewise, uh, 
the down-home appearance of the goddess on her two native planets would be unrecognizable to me. She might be a blue mist <laughs> through my earth eyes. Uh, so in these heights of perception, the appearances of the two lovers are interrelating, are automatically translated. It just, it just happens. Uh, into forms familiar to each organism according to what they are used to on their home planets. Mm -hmm. To the goddess, I might be appearing as the grooviest, sexiest blue mist she has ever <laughs> misted with. <laughs> Let's spritz after the party. <laughs> Uh, I'm talking about an automatic visual, visual telepathy, telepathic adjustment, visual telepathic adjustment, not mental, visual, so that interplanetary romance like is even possible. Yeah. The same goes for thoughts. Whatever the go goddess Earth thinks is automatically translated into the appropriate Earth language, in my case, English, and my thoughts in English are interpreted, translated exactly into a language that she is native to, though completely unintelligible to me. All right, listen up. Get this. This is so far out. Do you think they can handle it? If there is an error in the translation of the telepathic visuals and thoughts between the interplanetary lovers, the lovers spontaneously respond with an instantaneous automatic forgiveness vibe to correct the error in awareness without wasting the time to ask for and to give forgiveness <laughs> wouldn't it be great if this instantaneous automatic forgiveness <laughs> telepathic forgiveness dynamic could be brought down to Planet Earth? Oh yes, Goddess Earth. See, our humanity needs your healing. Ta. Ah.